Yeah, if there's cylinders, they're lock-in cylinders, it's like a chain um, catches it, we would take those out and store them for the winter so they don't rust, uh, they don't last longer. I can't imagine many people want to do that in the winter. No, the discs, they're not like a frisbee, they're not this big. They're like this big, and they, they, don't, they don't grab the air. Different in size, yeah, yeah. weighted, weighted, weighted different style. Here, they won't just sail like that. Yeah. I mean, anything could happen. With that, if this gets approved, when can we expect a swing set and the other stuff to come to us? And how soon can we get that? We'll, we'll get it in way further. Swing sets are very easy. Um, I could get that out. I could get with uh, purchasing and do a specification for that pretty quickly. Uh, and you get a price and just lay it out. And I could probably have that in a couple of weeks. Uh, now the install would be a little different. I don't know how uh, available the install team is, whoever the wind is in. I guess we have to some parameters in, but I would guess it's free to install. Uh, one more question. In, is, is this all the stuff that's discussed? Because I got the, I, I went online and looked at the uh, five-year plan for the parks, uh, parks and land. Is this all, was this all discussed with the, the planning commission? Um, I don't believe the disc off was in there. The five-year master plan for currently, you'll see the reading on the next council meeting for the one that's going to be due uh, in 2022 that we to the state and there's a survey that was out there and the clerk has been very gracious to help us. Uh, so I don't believe it was in the previous one. I didn't do the previous five-year master plan. I don't believe disc golf was in there. A lot of other improvements, recreational opportunities, but I don't believe disc golf made that list at that time. starter one and laid out well, um, and it wasn't over well. Borman doesn't have, they have a walking path, um, and I'm down there often, and my family had walks right here daily, um, and uh, it just laid out the way it was straight, it had the protection pile, we could toggle down, and it was a part nine, and we, did, we thought that'd be a good one to start, to see the reception, it's in a perfect uh, neighborhood, that's a perfect, um, you know, that, that's one of the, to me, marking neighborhoods in the city, it's, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people keep an eye on things, and others don't to or if someone doing something they shouldn't. I just thought the presence of the neighborhood and they keep, you know, everyone, the most part that I encounter over the very respectful, I just thought it would fit and something to offer that area. Okay. Um, the next question is, I, I looked back in the budget documents from earlier in the year and I didn't see this included in there, so. No, I didn't. I, I did a lot of like playground equipment, things like that. So it's in there and just not. It in. wouldn't be called disc golf, yeah, I didn't have it. It is like disc golf, yeah, there's okay. sufficient funding. And then my last question is, um, why don't items like this go to rec commission? In the future, I could start doing better with that. I mean, it I seems like we have this commission, we meet every month, and, you know, Fletcher Park is brought to us, this is brought to us, and these items don't really come there, and it, I mean, these residents give, you know, yeah, absolutely. I will, that's and all it seems that. like this would be something that would, would be a good fit. Absolutely. I'll do better with that. Can do that. Yeah, See, people were doing that when I use frisbees a lot of times, yeah. especially someone getting new to it and stuff like that. That's my biggest concern, yeah. not the professional disc player. Yeah. It's the average show that says, hey, let's go out and throw the frisbee around. You know, Most of this is going to drive us, you know. So. To the chair, you'll probably get a lot of not because it's something new mm -hmm. and it's something unique. And a lot of kids can ride their bikes there. They're probably not going to have the pro beer on a gate. They're probably going to use a frisbee or a football. You know, I'm, I'm sure they're going to use right. multiple.
golf course there. I have 20 years ago been to a Frisbee golf, and some of them are in trees and some of them are freestanding. Um, I don't know, I just think the money could be better used to update our playground park at Heritage Park. And I just did a little tour of the city before I come over to my Heritage Park and had to watch where I was going in the past. <laughs> um, but there was a couple there with two young children. And I said, where are you going? He said, we're going to Brownstown. And even when it rains, you go down to Brownstown, and they got the rubber mulch covered with the uh, uh, turf grass. And even after it rains, you can go down there and play. All of our parks, you can't go to and play because of all the mud. And I think that money could be used better to upgrade the play space for our kids. I know we want to create more uh, aesthetics or whatever to attract uh, younger people to stay in the city and grow here, but I don't think the uh, golf course is going to do that because most teams are 50 to 100 people that would play it. And what was funny when I was going around the city, I went right behind Pat Park and there was a man out there throwing a frisbee. And he says, man, I wish they had a, a, a frisbee park here. And um, but I just don't think Boardman is the right place for it. And my granddaughter also wants to know when they're going to go swing. <laughs> I'm going to work on that tomorrow. I have the specifications later tomorrow for a swing on the first. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to be 100% related to a bid from a company that was not awarded the contract. So are we looking at the actual layout or is this their proposal? I mean, everything that's in here is from Premier and they were the higher bidder. So I don't know, are we just buying into the concept without knowing where the holes are and whether or not there's a safety issue or? No, we, we walked it um, and then you were Premier, uh, I believe, attached. So they took our docs? Our docs. And then the other company, uh, I do apologize, I was out last week, that was scanned in for me. Um, I would have put both companies used the same docs. Okay. They only got a few minutes and three or one. Now what about the timing? Because, you know, I, mean, I, I heard you say that when the weather turns, we're going to take this stuff down. And so I, you know, there's some good points being made. I, I like the idea, I don't see myself playing, but the basketball courts are popular, and let's do this, and let's find four other things. It's cheap, it's inexpensive, it's outside, it's fun, so I like the concept, but if we're really not going to use it this season, if it's going to come down when the weather turns cold, the company that we do have the bid documents from, it looks like they're about 45 or 50 days from being awarded the contract. I don't know if the company that got the bid was similar, but we're not even going to be able to play this game until it's time to take it down for winter, right? This is true. We may not realize this until the spring, uh, but uh, I do believe we can get the cement installed, uh, the bases installed. It may not be used for uh, play purposes, but uh, the company that uh, KAB, they feel they can get it done before snowfall, uh, before frost and things like that. And these are just smaller pans that they're playing. But the locations are definitely your work that this we is walk, where they will physically We walk this, yes. We physically walk this. Obviously, uh, if we would have to tweak something, we'd have to do that. The one that I played at the conference when I went, this cut through two baseball fields, jogged around the play skate, went through the woods, like he said, with the retreats. It, it transitioned all over. Mm -hmm. Basically, was in the middle of the park. Uh, so we would definitely line it up. As I said, anything can happen. Just like kids throwing a football, just like being in a baseball park, how ball can go astray. People will have to be aware. People have to be you know, watching, you know, as they walk, this is they would do with people who play football catch, uh, hitting baseballs, uh, there's a backstop down in the basin, doesn't get used often. Uh, there's a couple posts for soccer, they don't get used often either. Um, but, you know, I would hope people would be respectful despite any, any sporting event you attend, whether it's objects that are kind of flying around. Mm -hmm. And I think we would have that success, but uh, it's a pleasure to come. I work out in Farmington Hills and Walker Park every day, and they have one that's very popular, and it's like what you're describing. Some of them are cut through the woods like you're playing golf up north. Some of them are right next to a road. Some of them are near a baseball field. So um, I haven't seen any accidents when I've been there. But uh, I, I, the other thing I wanted to comment on the, the rec commission, you know, it's 
seems like, you know, we ask these people to donate their time. Um, these are ideas that would be perfect for them to review and comment on. Um, so I'd like to see them get more involved in this type of stuff going forward, or or, or just not use them and let them join some other commission. But that's a failure. 